Hey guys, welcome back to Ultimate Creamer Shooting. Tonight we're sitting down in my shop, getting ready to work on my gun to add on a new piece of equipment that I picked up for it last week. And that's this little gizmo right here, which is the Spearhead Barrel Tuner. I picked this up from Rangeview Sports in the Toronto area. I could have picked it up from Spearhead Tuners themselves, but I found that buying it through Rangeview Sports, I actually saved a little bit in shipping. So in total, this cost me $316, $319 Canadian tax in with the shipping, whereas it would have been a little more from buying it right from Spearhead themselves. They're a Canadian made company and the quality is actually exceptionally well done. Uh, it comes in two sections, so it's like this. This is for a 5 8 by 24 thread, uh, which will fit onto my 6.5 Primor. So it'll work on a 308 just as well, kind of thing. Um, as you can tell, right along the bottom here, they're all numbered. There's little hash, hash lines right here. And along the side of the tuner itself, there's six drill holes that have been tapped in. And then there's three screw inserts that also have a small silicon nib on the inside and that's to clamp down on the tuner itself when you start dialing it back. This weighs, I don't know, a pound? Less than a pound I guess it would be. I didn't quite look it up of how much it actually weighs but it is a good solid piece of stainless steel and I heard a lot of reports about these. I was in a match last month with a couple of guys that were F-class shooters and uh, uh, they shoot as a team and they won the Canadian Nationals twice in F-class and they swear by these tuners. So we're gonna give this a shot, see how it works out on the gun. I'm still doing a bit of a load development uh, for a load that I'm working on. I'm shooting 147 grain ELD match rounds right now and I'm still working on a load test and seating taps. And then from that point, once I find a good load, I'm gonna get this and start cranking it down to see if I can make the grouping even better than it was before. So the premise is that once you have this on and you have it set up, you start dialing it over by screwing towards the barrel itself. So you'll dial it clockwise and your group might be very good when it first starts when you're still at zero but then when you you start clicking two hashes over at a time shoot three groups move it two more times shoot three more groups and you'll keep turning it down until you see the group go from large all the way back down to small once it goes down and becomes a really good tight group all over again then you just tighten down the set screws leave it at that then you're good to go the only thing is if you do change loads change size of your rounds so say if i went from a 147 to 140 grain boat tail hollow point then i'd have to start the whole premise over again which doesn't sound too bad in the end so i've heard a lot about these i know eric cortina has a tuner break which is a muzzle break and the tuner combined all into one unit I looked at that, but I really like the muzzle brake I already have on my gun. It was made for me by IBI Barrels. It's a six port muzzle brake, and it works perfectly on the fluted heavy barrel that I have for my 6.5 Primo. So I'm leaving it. So I looked at wanting to get one of these instead. Reset the zero. Yeah, I'm shooting a little high. I'm a half a click. I think. Yeah, I'm one click high. I'm just gonna hold over. Center. So I have the gun all leveled out. I have a 
I set a level on the back of the gun down here, made sure the gun was level in the vise, and I have a level here. These are wheeler levels that I bought. We'll talk about those some other day. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the tuner apart, and we're gonna take this end here. We cleaned it all up, made sure there's no residue of grease or anything because you wanna get it locked in. And this has all been cleaned off at the end of the threads, so it's all nice and cleaned up. So we're just going to mount this up here onto the gun. And we'll just get her on here. And we'll just give her a quick snug, snug down. Just like that. Make sure the gun stays nice and square and level. Now, as you can tell, we have holes on the bottom, three holes, and we have the set screws sitting on the top half. The reason for it is if you're going to use this without a muzzle brake on it, then you put the set screws back here, and then it would sit flush to the end. Then you just put a cap on it. But because I'm using a muzzle brake, I want to set it back more, so I'm going to put the set screws on the front because I'm going to be dialing it back farther and I want it to be able to hold on to the threads. So now we're just going to thread this on, get it set back. So we have it back to there. And as you can see, right there, we have it back past the shoulder right there. So this is a self-timing muzzle brake from IBI. So I can adjust this right onto here. I want to get as close to it as possible. And then I'm going to put a level on it. And then we'll be able to set it. So we're going to take this level because it's magnetic. I'm going to set it right on there. So now We'll be able to see it when I'm turning it to be able to lock it into place. Over here. Let's see how it works. That looks pretty good right there. So there we go. We've got the muzzle brake on now. And she looks pretty good and level. So now what we do is we'll roll this back and let's see where zero starts here. So zero is roughly, so zero is right about there on the barrel and that's flush. Let's see if I can do this. And that is flush right here with the edge of it which is the base, the base. So then all you'll do from here is you'll set these. So I'm going to turn these in by hand a little bit. I'm just going to mount this back up here. So I'm going to do that. Number three. Now from what I read on Spearhead's page, is you want to set these so that you can turn these but it does take a little force you don't want it loose where it's going to move around on its own and that feels almost perfect so we're going to just give these a little more and that whoops looks pretty good just like so so that's what it looks like with the spearhead barrel tuner on it with my muzzle brake and my IBI barrel. So now we'll just loosen these guys off. And I know the muzzle brake is uh, level to the barrel and the rest of the gun, so it's not going to throw itself off when I'm shooting it. Now these wheeler levelers are a nice little piece of gear to have. Great when you're mounting a scope on a gun and you want to keep keep know where your level is at all times. 
So we're gonna have a talk about these guys sooner or later. So there we go. So now it's all on. So we'll just take her out to the range. Now, a friend of mine just used one on his 6.5 Creamore. He said he had to rotate this two and a half full turns uh, going this way to be able to tune the barrel in. But now that it's in, he just leaves it like it is and off to the races. So there you go, guys. That's what the new spearhead barrel tuner looks like. And we'll doing we'll be doing part two of a video to see how it shoots out on the range and to see how my grouping works out and to see if it lives up to all the hype that everybody talks about and if it's really worth it or not. And there we go. If you like the video, hit the like button. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time at Ultimate Creedmoor Shooting. Bye for now.